is this morning the wind's blowing at 28 but uh, we're gonna go inside the alpine and uh, I'll show you folks how I take care of my uh, seals on the hydraulic slides and before I freeze to death <clears throat> on the exterior of your slide you'll see these D seals just like this and uh, this is what uh, seals the uh, exterior of the slide when it's closed it mates up against the surface over here and uh, if you look down, my hand shake off because it's cold. If you look up and down, you don't see any black marks, marks, things like that. And if we look up at this seal, you can see that this seal looks excellent. And these are the original D seals on this 2014 slide. So I'm going to show you uh, on the other side of the fifth wheel what I do to keep these taken care of. And I'm also gonna show you what I do to take care of these wiper seals. And you have wiper seals on the exterior that uh, when the slide is open, uh, this keeps uh, uh, water and dust and stuff from coming in. And also back inside, and you might be able to see it just a little bit, is another seal inside there. And so I'll show you what I do to keep all these seals looking good. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the uh, front of the fifth wheel before I go inside. I did replace a couple of these uh, wiper seals after eight years of use. But, uh, you know, and what I use on these uh, wiper seals and the D seals that you see here, and we'll get a little better shot there. What I use on all these D seals is either talcum powder or baby powder and an old sock. All this crap that you got in a spray can, you're just wasting your money. And if you spray that stuff on these seals, particularly if you spray that stuff on these D seals, then what's gonna happen is when you close the slide up in hot weather, the next place you stop and go to extend these slides, you're gonna hear these slides pop and make noise and you're gonna see them jerk. And that's because all that sealant does that you buy at uh, Walmart or Camping World or Amazon, all it does is it gets into this material <clears throat> and it changes the texture of the material and breaks it down and it makes it stick to the Falan wall. Now, if you look at this Falan wall, I haven't wiped it down or anything. That's eight years old and you don't see any D seal marks on it. And why? Because I use baby powder. Let's go inside so I can warm up. Okay, we're inside the fifth wheel out of that wind and I've set the furnace at 50. Inside it says it's 32, so that's not bad. The Alpine is uh, about uh, 12 degrees warmer than it is outside with a almost a 30 mile an hour wind uh, blowing and it was down to 10 degrees uh, late last night. So with uh, no heat on in here, for this to be 32 is pretty good. But uh, on to the main event and uh, I'll show you how I take care of uh, my uh, Alpine's uh, D-seal slides, uh, seals on the outside and also on the uh, wiper seals and also on the inside you have seals that you need to take care of so i'll show you a little bit of all of those here okay so as you can see all the slides are extended and there's a seal back behind here that uh, i can show you just the edge of it that we want to get to and it also comes along down the bottom of this where my hand is pointing to right in here and so with slides out, you can't do anything to these interior seals. And uh, what I'll do is I'll retract this slide and uh, we'll pull the main slides in just a little bit. Okay, so we've got uh, the bedroom slide pulled all the way in and we have the main slides pulled in just a little. And I've climbed up on the bed and uh, I'll show you this seal that you need to take care of. Plus you can see where my finger is pointing to, you can see this interior wiper seal and if I lift this up you can see underneath there and you'll be looking at what would be the exterior wiper seal of course the slides closed so it's uh, flattened out against the top of the uh, uh, roof on the outside with the slide closed but you want to take care of these and keep these nice and flexible and pliable and if you look on the, the seal you might see just a little bit of uh, white dust on there and that will look down here and you can see all the way to the bottom and this seal runs all the way across the top and all the way to the bottom and so that's a seal that you need to take care of and uh, I use a baby powder 
I have never sprayed any of this uh, so-called, uh, and I'll just say it like it is, this crap that they call slide seal conditioner, slide seal lubricant, or anything else like that. If you use that stuff, quite frankly, folks, you're wasting your money and you're going to tear these seals up. If you spray that crap on these seals right here and then you pull this bedroom slide in and this wood, it'll turn around here where you can see it, and this wood surface that where my hand is, is rubbing at, this wood surface mates now with this rubber. And if it's 100 degrees outside, all, all you're going to do is uh, that stuff is going to start sticking. And every time you open and close these slides, it's going to pull and it's going to peel and it's going to tear. And you're going to tear the seals up. And on the outside of the fifth wheel, when you've got the slide outs out, you'll see everywhere that those D-seals were contacting if you use these uh, so-called slide seal conditioners. Baby powder or talcum powder? Talcum powder is getting pretty hard to find. Baby powder is just as fine. That's what I've been using for, I don't know, the last two or three years of baby powder, and I have uh, no issues, as you can see. These seals are over eight years old on this 2014 Alpine. And what I use is an old sock. And, uh, of course, we've got the baby powder. I like talcum powder, but you just about can't find it anymore. And so how do you use this? Well, it's real simple. You just take the old sock, and you can see this sock is uh, a little dirty, and uh, that's because uh, that's what I use on the slide-out seals. Okay, now I've sprinkled some powder on the, slide, on the sock, and all I'm going to do is reach back here and take this and wipe this guy down like I can, as best as I can, and we'll keep wiping it like so. Doesn't have to be a real heavy coating of baby powder. And uh, sorry for the video, but uh, holding the camera in one hand and uh, trying to do it in the other, we'll stop for a minute. When you get to these side corners on this bedroom slide, there's no room to get around. So what I do is I take that sock and I put it on an old uh, 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 yardstick that I carry, wood yardstick that I carry. You could go get something fancy if you wanted, but, uh, you know, a small piece of wood, plastic, something that will the sock can rest on and then just take the sock and work that sock up and down all of the seal all the way down to the floor and get a light coating of uh, that baby powder on there and then do it on the other side uh, of uh, your bedroom slide when it's uh, pulled in. Okay so we're back with you <clears throat> and uh, boy the heater's working nice. Temperature's coming up in here and I'm glad I'm out of the wind. And uh, what I'm showing you now is the Main slides, they are partially retracted in just a little bit, maybe, I don't know, four or five inches or so on both sides. And we'll show you how the other slide is also tipped. And that's normal. You'll see that, uh, in fact, as we'll show you, you can see how the slides are angled out from the bottom and tipped back up at the top. And that's normal. That's because the slide is starting to come up on the wear bars and uh, or rollers if you have rollers <clears throat> and so you're going to see that uh, initial motion where the top will be canted backwards and the bottom will be tipped out but anyways now we can see these seals and you can also see this interior wiper seal and if you look right up here you'll see that the last time this seal came out that's that didn't quite seal properly and it's because it's 20 degrees out and uh, so what we're gonna do now, and you can look and see on these seals, I did these last year, but you can still see evidence of uh, uh, baby powder on these seals. So you have a seal all the way up to the to top edge, and we'll show you the top view here in a second. Carry this little uh, two-step stand, along with a, a small one-step stand for the wife, <clears throat> and for me too but uh, in addition to a collapsible ladder that I carry. But uh, we'll get up on the ladder here and we'll go around on this side of this uh, slide out, main slide out, and you can see the, the side of the seal. And then if you look right here, you'll see the inside wiper seal and we'll look along the top. And so what we wanna do is take our uh, sock with some baby powder and work along that seal.
And for those that are wondering, well, how much baby powder did I put on? Well, you can see the sock and you can see that it's, uh, you know, it's coated pretty thickly. Uh, the material is from uh, years of using it. <clears throat> and you can see how much I've sprinkled on here. And I'm going to probably do about, uh, oh, about eight feet of this long slide out. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the top done first since it's the hardest. And so now what I'm going to do is just take this sock and lay it down in here and rub it along this inside seal. And you can see the seal a little bit better. And we'll rub this, uh, this sock that we've got with baby powder on it. And you can see we've worked along uh, the seal a little bit on the top. And we got a little bit of uh, talcum powder up here. And some of that might be dust too, but we'll wipe that off when we're done. And we got a little more uh, powder on the sock. And we'll go back and finish the uh, back far corner of this uh, one main uh, seal and we'll go down the vertical section of it. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is reach back in here with uh, holding the camera in my left hand and uh, we're coming down the inside of this seal all the way down to the floor and that video won't come out too good because I can't see what we're pointing at but we'll give you an idea of the finished product. So this is the back side of this main seal. We've come all the way from the top, all the way down, completely down to the floor. And uh, yes, your, your little hand will reach back in there just fine. I can't get a good angle to show you all the way down to the floor, but uh, you wanna wipe that seal with uh, a sock and baby powder, talcum powder, all the way down to the bottom, back and forth a couple of times. And when you're done, you'll see that there's a, a very light coat of powder on there. Okay, so now we have one uh, more main slide to do. Your Alpine may be different. Uh, you may have uh, four slides or five or six. This one has three. And what we're looking at is all the way up to the top and all the way down to the bottom. And you can see where we have talcum powder rubbed up and down on this. You can see that that seal looks real good. And we'll reach back in here, maybe with our finger, so I can show you. We'll pull this wiper seal out. You can see how it's pulled out now. And you can see where it's flipped a little bit. If I extended the, if I retracted the slide all the way, this uh, seal will come into its proper position. But uh, I'll just take my finger and we'll move that slide or that seal out. And you can see how it's, uh, now popped out into proper position. You know, when you stop a slide, uh, partial motion like this, it's normal for those seals to look like that. And so we'll do the top section and then the front uh, side of this large uh, 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 Alpine uh, slide. And boy, I must be getting old. I can't even think of what I wanna say this morning. Okay, we've finished this, uh, the other long slide. And uh, you can see evidence of uh, white powder up and down these seals and uh, we'll look all the way down to the floor so that you can see and you can reach back in uh, this, that area like that and uh, get a coating on there the seals uh, like I said they are eight plus years old on the interior they've never been replaced I've never had any leaks and uh, if you <clears throat> use the uh, baby powder or talcum powder and an old sock like this. I mean, it's real high tech. Uh, need a cup of coffee too while you're uh, doing it, especially when it's colder than uh, the well diggers behind out here in Idaho this morning, but uh, we're inside and it's heating up. But anyways, uh, all you need is a sock and a, a thing of baby powder. Put them in a, a plastic bag and then you've got it. And uh, I like to do these uh, slides uh, Oh, a couple of times a year if I was out more uh, and or longer and this year we are going to be out uh, more and out longer uh, even with uh, our pets and the condition that they're at we're, we're going to travel and we're going to take them with us and uh, if something happens to one of them we'll take care of them but anyways uh, uh, if you use this powder it'll keep these interior seals nice and flexible they won't be sticky and uh, you won't have any leaks and you'll save a lot of money for all that crap that uh, they sell in the stores. And uh, when I say crap, I'm talking about anything that says uh, like Camco uh, 
seal slide conditioner, exterior slide conditioner, exterior slide seal lubricant. Um, I have never bought any of that stuff uh, ever in my life. I've always used for the last 45 years on every RV that I've owned that had any kind of rubber gaskets on it. I use talcum powder or baby powder. And so I'll stand uh, behind what I'm saying and uh, uh, the manufacturers of all that stuff won't like me, but uh, all you're doing, folks, is you're wasting money. And in fact, you're going to damage those seals, particularly on your exterior seals. Uh, you spray that stuff on those seals, and then that sun starts heating them up, plus the UV starts degrading that uh, rubber seal along with that silicone spray crap you just put on it. And now you're going to have a big, gooey, sticky mess. I'm going to give a very quick demo on what I do on the outside uh, of the seals and I'm only going to just do a portion of it because uh, at 20 degrees with this 28 mile hour wind <clears throat> I can't put enough clothing on to stay warm today but uh, got a little talcum powder and uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we still have these slides uh, partially retracted so we're going to go ahead and extend the slides all the way out okay we've got the slides extended all the way out and uh, I might need to take a, a polish rag and come back up here and uh, redust the top of this uh, uh, cornice valance up here. I can see, yeah, I can see my white fingerprints up there a couple of places. So if the wife sees that, uh, I'll get told about it. So, uh, you know, that's your follow on maintenance. Uh, when you're all done with your interior, take your dust rag, a little pledge or whatever you use and clean up your uh, powder if you got a little bit on something. Okay, so we're looking at uh, the passenger side exterior wiper seals and you can see that they look excellent all the way up and you can also see the D seal and uh, I've got a little talcum powder and all I'm going to do is take this sock and wipe up and down on the, the D seal just like you see me doing and if you look at that sock it'll actually get a little bit dirty and we'll wipe just a little bit more like that and that's about as far as I can reach without getting the ladder. And then what we're going to do over here is we're going to come on the, the exterior wiper seal and we're going to rub this just a little bit and then we're going to pause the camera. And now we're still on the uh, exterior wiper seal and if you've noticed I've stuffed the sock up underneath the bottom side of this wiper seal. And so now what I'm going to do is just wipe up and down along the, the bottom side of this wiper seal as far as I can reach. And so what you're doing is you're cleaning and protecting the ins inside of that seal and the outside of the seal and uh, if you look there you might see there's a little bit of baby powder there but it's not on very heavy doesn't need to be just a light coating so we're back inside and thank god for the uh, nice suburban heater working in here and uh, just a sec get a cup of sip of coffee i use this baby powder and a rag on any rubber seal that's on a alpine. Uh, I also use this on the refrigerator door seals. I use it on the baggage door seals. Uh, any other place I can't, that's about all I can think of uh, at the moment to, of where there uh, are rubber seals at. But if you use that on those seals, uh, I'm telling you, you know, you can see that this 2014 Alpine, you can see that these interior uh, slide out seals look as good as the day they did when the factory put them on so the key you know it is be proactive take care of your alpine uh, it took me maybe 10 minutes to do all of the interior seals on all three slides and that includes doing it one-handed holding the camera trying to shoot some videos for you folks to give you an idea of what the silly old man's talking about to uh, when I say use the, the baby powder and a sock. Again, talcum powder is what I used to prefer, but you just about can't find any more. Baby powder is just as good in my opinion. It's readily available, you know, and this is the one I use. I guess they got different uh, scents and stuff. Uh, uh, I'd get the one that, you know, is not uh, not scented, but that's, uh, that's your choice when it comes to what scenting you want. But uh, if you take care of these slide out seals, uh, you'll have less problems. Your slides are going to work smoother because they're not sticking, because the sun hasn't melted them, particularly on the outside. 
uh, your interior seals are going to stay nice and pliable and they're going to do what they're supposed to do and that is keep the water out and keep the dust out and keep you happy and uh, uh, by doing all those things, guess what else it does, folks? It keeps money in your pocket. It keeps your fifth wheel out of these uh, RV repair centers and uh, allows you to go out and buy the wife a, a good steak and lobster and a beer to go with it or a, you know, a nice margarita, something like that. But uh, I'm all about proactive and preventative maintenance. I'd rather spend a few more minutes uh, uh, taking care of something before something goes wrong than having to deal with spending a lot of money and fixing it it's been, and uh, having downtime. Whereas if I had just taken a little bit of time beforehand and uh, been proactive and uh, done some preventive maintenance, I could have kept uh, the problem from occurring, whatever it might have been. So, you know, that's all the tips I can give you on these slide seals. Uh, if you have the electric uh, in-wall slide seals, it's going to be about the same uh, procedure. You know, close your... Uh, slides just enough so that you can get uh, behind and take care of those seals. And then on the uh, in-wall electric slide outs, when you go and extend them again, since you uh, stopped them uh, on a partial travel, you'll want to hold down that power button until uh, both those slides, uh, the electric slides are extended and uh, hold it down for a good two or three seconds more to make sure those motors uh, on those electric in-wall slides stay in sync. And I was curious to, to see uh, how well the furnace would bring the inside temp up. It was 32 when we walked in here. We've been in here about 10 minutes and we're at 43. And uh, so we'll uh, turn the furnace back off. And uh, it's uh, done its job once uh, again, keeping me warm while uh, I come out here and make one of these uh, videos uh, in this uh, cold uh, weather. You know, I honestly got to say, I don't think I've ever had all of the lights turned on inside like this we uh we don't like a lot of bright lights but as you can see you know every one of them works uh, they're the original uh lights and fixtures that came with the alpine so been very pleased with it